Okay, so external proposal A, also known as the FIN network uh, proposal. You guys call it the fishing proposal. It's all basically the same thing. Um, we started with one up here at uh, the university, uh, at campus, at campus point up there. We put one in at Big Sycamore Canyon. We expanded. There's already an SMR there that's been there for 30 odd years, 20 odd years at least. 1992. Um, 92 uh, was it? It was part of the Prop 132. It was a result of Proposition 132, the Gilnet initiative. Right, right. So it's it's been there a while. It was uh, it was another type of a reserve before that. It was it had some other designation before that. The the reasoning behind Big Sycamore Canyon is the only undeveloped watershed in the entire southern half of the state. It's the only river that's never been dammed. It's the only pristine natural river that falls in the ocean uninterrupted in Southern California. Okay, so we put one in in Malibu. This is just south of Malibu here, and it heads down just above Big Rock. Gets us a lot of soft habitat right there in the middle of the bay, and it helps to meet the 31 to 62 guidelines and replication and yada yada. Okay, we put one here at Palos Verdes on the southern side uh, because we didn't want the upper end into the bay closed, and this one is split. Half of it is actually a no-take area. The other half of it is the southern half is only allowed to capture bait as it was proposed. Just sardines, no fishing is allowed in that zone. Um, uh, there's the little one right here at Cabrillo. Uh, that one's actually probably going to go as a state park or whatever. The state parks is going to develop and run that one. Why? Why is that? What? Why do they want? It's to a tiny little tide pool reserve right there at Cabrillo Beach. You're still allowed to fish, fish, but you can't take. You can't take rock. Uh, you can't take rocks out, and that's right at the point where Point Furman and Cabrillo meet at the water. It's just a little park that's right up inside that's of there, okay. a little marine park, and basically it's a type of protection. That's the vast majority of the yellow reserves are either estuaries or tide pool protection, and that's what they are. So, um, and the ones on the outside, like I said, the ones that are on the outside, we left state marine parks on the inside. And on the outside, we change them to state marine conservation areas so they can make some real simple rules. They're going to allow certain fish up to such a level, like we'll be allowed to get calicos out of them, but they might not allow something like cabazons. Okay, so they might get real picky when it comes down to the rockfish. Might not be able to take tree fish out for the inshore stuff. So, so they're going to be real picky on the levels of take on those. Uh, you've got you know Bolsa, you've got Bolsa Chica here. You've got Upper Newport Bay as a state marine park. You've got an SMR right through the middle of the Laguna to grab at a high level of protection the kelp and reef habitat. You've got what was the state marine parks that exist uh, north and south of the center of, of Laguna changed from state marine parks to SMCAs like I explained. Farnsworth Bank would propose it as an SMR to protect the coral. Um, and we didn't put anything at San Nicholas even though we know the Navy has a closure there. And I know stuff about San Nicholas that you guys don't. Um, but there's stuff going on out of San Nicholas right now. And then at San Clemente Island, these two are definitely gone. This is Alpha. I'm sorry, this is Wilson Cove. My bad. Alpha is out here at San Nicholas. Uh, this is Wilson Cove. This is a submarine parking lot. They're basically, they're expanding their operation and they don't want anybody in there. And then Swap One, which has got Castle Rock inside of it and three or four of the best rock fishing spots on Earth. <laughs> Anyways, before I cry about it, they're testing a new rifle that shoots 20 millimeter can rounds from a jet fighter. They've got kill range with explosive rounds to eight miles for a rifle. So you don't want to be out there when they're dicking around with that gun anyways. Um, then you get down the coast, you've got Batiquitas, became a state park, still allows you to go fishing with your kids and your grandkids. But you might not be able to suck up Goshen or out of it or something for protection for the birds. Trade off, everything's a trade off. San Alejo, same kind of thing. Then we have an SMR at Del Mar. Then you've got uh, State Marine Conservation in San Diego. And then here at La Jolla Shores, there already was an SMCA. It's a closed area there. It's real small in La Jolla. That would exist. We would just make it an SMR because they're actually allowed to go in there and hand catch squid at night, braille nets. They're allowed to braille net squid in there. It's the only thing you can do. So we would say basically you can't go in there and fish anything. But we tried, the effort was to leave all of La Jolla basically untouched and Point Loma basically untouched. Um, and then this is, there's a tiny little state park area that's right here that's basically a Navy control right at the tip of Point Loma. 
and that's oh, yeah. kind of a given that little thing that it's going to wind up being another type of reserve. So all the stuff on the outside, we made an SMCAs to make the law simpler, the guidance simpler. So, so yeah, what areas are, are those? Um, yeah, like are those yes. all those big estuaries? Yeah, that those back big there? lagoons, exactly. Okay. So you still be able to fish halibut, croakers, and bass in them and stuff. Um, but you, like I said, you might not be able to catch bait in there. You might catch smelt for bait, but you might not be able to catch and fish in there. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah, I mean, unless you live close by, you make a special trip, but there's a lot of locals that do, that's for sure. Okay, this side, my God, let there be life.